Hello everybody. I know. MIA. <laughs> That's me missing in action. Um it is Monday morning. The uh something. 19th of September. Is it really September 19th already? That's like unbelievable to me. Um I'm nah. It is 11:23 in the morning. And I'm on my way to run some errands. I have to go to Walmart. I have to go to the vitamin shop. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the fun stuff. And I just dropped Liz off at work. Um, I did not go to Weight Watchers on Friday because... This is really annoying. Someone in our household had a car accident with my van. I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> just to protect the innocent. Um, they backed out of the driveway and hit the woman across the street's car and dented her passenger rear door in on a two-month-old car and her husband just passed away two months ago and she's 81 years old. <sighs> anyway, she parked her car right at the base of my driveway, which she shouldn't have done. And then because somebody was working on power washing her house, power washing her driveway and all that stuff, she moved her car. Well, she should have parked it somewhere else, and but that's, you know, a moot point at this juncture. Um, the person who backed out of my driveway and hit her car um, went on to do what they were going to do. So the lady across the street, seeing no vehicles in our driveway because somebody left in one car and somebody left in the other car, so neither one of our cars were home, called the police and reported a hit and run and said that it was me. So the police were there. I had no clue. There's a gnat flying around my van. I had no clue the police were even there. They didn't knock on my door because they assumed I wasn't home. Um, and he went downtown and filed two warrants for my arrest. Me all the while sitting in my living room watching Lord of the Rings with my husband, whom we just didn't know. So. Apparently, the police officer had called my phone, and it went directly to voicemail, meaning I didn't have a signal, so my flipping phone didn't ring through to me, so I didn't even know it rang. Um, so all of a sudden, I'm sitting on the couch, watching a movie with Rob, and my next-door neighbor starts texting me. Is everything okay? You really need to call that police officer back. Do you need any help? And I'm like... Is she smoking something? <laughs> I thought, well, maybe she thinks she's texting the neighbor down the street. Because I know a couple of times they've had a couple of run-ins with the police. No, I don't really have any clue why I don't know those people. I'm just saying they have. I know that. Um, so I was wondering if maybe she was texting her. So I wrote back, question mark, question mark. And she writes back, um, what did she say? Something about you hit D's van when you left earlier. And I was like... I mean, car. I was like, first of all, who's D? And second of all, I didn't go anywhere. And third of all, what is she talking about? So then I'm like, okay, this is not working. So I walked over to her house, which, you know, like I said, it's next door. And I'm, she, as I'm walking up, she's walking out because she's thinking the same thing. This is not working. I'm going to go talk to her. So she looks at me and she's like, is everything all right? And I said, yeah. She's like, you hit D's car earlier when you left. Did you not know that? And I was like, first of all, I haven't been anywhere. And second of all, I didn't hit anybody's. And then it dawned on me that there were other people driving the vehicles at the exact same time that she said someone hit the woman's car. So we want to go across the street, make a long story short. I talked to the, the nice lady. She's elderly. She's very sweet. Super nice lady. She's come, you know, visibly shaken up, very upset, because this is her last car. She bought it with um, money that she got when her husband passed away, insurance money or whatever. Um, and she just doesn't have a lot, you know? So she's a very upset. I finally convinced her and the man who was working on her yard, because he was the one that said, I saw her, it was her, that lady that lives across the street, I've seen her before. And I was like, uh, sir, it was not me. So anyways, I finally convinced him it wasn't me because the van wasn't even in the driveway, but I was home. So what did I do? Go park it somewhere else? And they had been out there all ever since. So it's not like I walked home. <laughs> I 
anyways, I finally convinced them. Um, sorry, I was trying to turn the blinker on. It wasn't working. Because I forgot. <sighs> Talked it through with them. She gave me the police number. It was really just the non-emergency police number. I called the police department, give them the officer's name and the situation, and the lady, the dispatcher was like, okay, I'll tell him you called. I'm like, lady, this is like an emergency. I'm going to jail if you don't do something. So he calls me back like 30 minutes later, you know, all the while I'm panicking, and I call the other person who actually hit the car where they were and explain to them what had happened, and they freaked out, and you know, oh my god, I'm so sorry, oh my god. So, he's like, you know, I, I can transfer the warrants into the other person's name, but I have to issue a warrant for someone's arrest. It was a hit and run. And I was like, sir, can't you talk to the other person and, like, get their side of the story or something? Other than just, I'm just going to issue warrants? Like, you don't even know what happened. I wasn't being mean. I just, you know. So, he's like, well, I can come back out there. But I'm telling you right now, if I come back out there and that person isn't there, they're going to jail. And I was like, they will be here <laughs> if I have to drag them home, which I didn't, but, you know. Um, so the other person came home from where they were, and the police officer, kept, within 30 seconds, was at my house. It's like he was waiting for her to come back because he didn't want to put the person in jail. Um, or something, I don't really know. So, he, in 30 seconds, he pulled up. He went and talked to the lady again across the street, and he came back or came over to our house, and he was really nice. And he came in, and he was there for like an hour, filling out paperwork, asking questions, and all that, you know. And he was telling the person who did it, you know, you're very, very lucky. The lady across the street told me right before I came over here this time that she wanted to drop the hit and run because she didn't want you to go to jail. She just wants her car fixed. So we go through all this big rigmarole song and dance with the police officer go back over to the lady's house and talk with him, the officer, her, and the man who was standing outside fixing her yard, who was super nice. He's no relation to her. He's only known her a couple of months because he's been doing some work on her house that Home Depot messed up, so they, she, he's been fixing it. And he stayed there until 9.30, I guess like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, with her to make sure that she was okay. Really nice. So anyway... Long story, very long story, sorry, but let's make it a tiny bit shorter, and cut to the chase. The person who hit the car now owes over $1,040, I think it's a 1043 to fix the car, and $220 in citations because they were charged with improper backing instead of hit and run, thank God. So... That's what we've been doing. We just went back over to the lady's house last night and was like, you know, this person that hit you is trying to sell some things, trying to make some money to pay this. Is there, would it be possible for you to wait like a... What are you doing? I'm sure you couldn't tell what they were doing. They were in the far right lane on a three-lane road here. The far right lane and swerved over into my lane this way instead of this way. Anyway, so that's what we've been doing. Um, I'm going to record again because this is almost too long already and give you just a little update on my eating and all that stuff, but that was why I didn't go to Weight Watchers on Friday morning. I was supposed to take the lady to go get some estimates, but I'll explain the rest of that later. I miss you guys. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, and I have not fallen from the wagon. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.